Hello and welcome to How to Draw Stuff. Drawing fruit is one of the oldest traditions in art, but there are many ways to do it. Here we not only show you how to draw a whole lemon and a lemon slice, but also how to use watercolors to make it look practically edible. Let's start. We're starting with the lemon slice. It's essentially a semicircle, but you don't want to use a compass. Nature rarely makes lemons perfectly round, so nor should we. The slice has little individual segments like this. and a thicker edge for the pith and rinds. Here we put in some of the details. The segments are membranous, so we need to give them the right texture and they all need to meet in the middle. The lemon shape is quite straightforward, but make sure you taper it at the ends. Our lemon also has a little stalk with two little leaves at the end. Before using the watercolors, we're going to use a coloring pencil to give some highlights. And green coloring pencil for the leaves. The two main colors here we're going to use are yellow and orange brown. The lemon itself isn't brown, but using the color we can create tones and shading which would appear on a real lemon. Yellow here is the base of the slice and the whole lemon. As you can see, I'm leaving a little white space on the lemon to mark where the light will hit it. We can make it darker later if we need to, but it's harder to make it lighter. Here you can see how we use the darker orange-brown color to give some tones and highlights. We can use these colors for the parts in shadow, but they actually lend tonality to the whole lemon when used correctly. Now we go back to the original lemon yellow color for the segments which will be bright. Orange brown will let us create more texture here as well. Here we finish the texture of the whole lemon. The orange-brown can also be used to show the darker middle section of the segments. And of course, green for the leaves and a darker brown for the stalk. Some darker tones will give the leaves tonality as well. Now we finish the lemon and slice with some highlights. A darker brown is used for the shadowy underside of the lemon. We can use such a dark brown as we're able to blend it in with the yellow. This would depend on the type of paint we use. We're finishing it off with a base, in this case a wooden board. You can leave the image as it is, depending on what you're using it for. Some black will also blend for darker shadows and tones. And here is our finished lemon. 
Let us know how yours turned out in the comments below. And don't forget to share your suggestions for more videos. We'll see you next time.